Kids. This video is going to show how to repair the Combi Kokoro after the recall, which requires replacing the harness straps. Combi will send you a kit that includes new harness straps as well as an L-shaped tool. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver and about five minutes of time. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to flip the seat over. You will notice that your leg straps are attached here and here with these two screws. We're going to remove them. Make sure to save the screw. So I'm going to set it up here. And the other one. If you prefer, you can also do one side at a time so you have something else to compare it to. Then this piece comes out. Again, save this. And this. So now you're going to detach where the shoulder straps are connected. There's usually a plastic shield here. You would have removed that. Then disconnect the shoulder straps and flip the seat around. Now you're going to pull the shoulder straps out. You're going to take off the shoulder pad covers. Again, save them. You are also gonna take off the chest clip. So unthread it on one side. And the other side. Now it's removed, again, save it. And now you're going to pull the straps out. All you should be left with once you're done is just the crotch buckle attached, just like so. Now it's time to put the new straps in. So to do that, get rid of the old ones. So first thing is to identify the ends on your strap. So one end has two loops here. That's the ends for the shoulder straps. The other end has just one loop and that's the end for the leg straps. So I'm gonna start with threading my, my belts through. Again, noting that my shoulder straps are pointing up. Now I'm going to put on the pieces that go on the shoulder strap. So the first thing that goes on is the chest clip. Make sure combi is reading right way up, not upside down. And I'm just going to thread this on. This goes on from the bottom, like so, and then in. And now half of my shoulder straps are connected through the chest clip. Repeat on this side. Now you're going to put on the shoulder pad covers, slip them through, to make it more comfortable for the child, have the seam face out rather than into the child's body. Do the same on this side. Now select the shoulder strap slot that for forward facing is directly at or above the child's shoulders or rear facing at or below the child's shoulders. And now from the back of the seat, it's helpful to slide the hardware down for a second though. And now I'm going to turn the seat over and I'm going to connect the shoulder straps 
So take this strap, make sure it's straight, and then one at a time connect the shoulder straps. When you're done, it should look like this. Now I'm going to connect the leg straps. So I'm going to turn the seat back over. And I'm going to take the leg strap and pass it through the shell of the seat so that it comes out through this hole here. There we go, that's one side. And I might as well attach this side now. So I'm gonna grab the plate and the screw. So the plate goes in here. I'm gonna pull the strap from where the child sits so that the plate is flush. I'm gonna put the screw in. And tighten. go and then the other side so I'll get the strap to come out so just thread it through if you're having trouble threading the leg straps and getting it out this is why they send this little l-shaped tool so with one hand you're gonna want to be feeding the leg strap to try to get it to come out of this hole then you can use this little hook device to try to get it to come out through There we go. Now the hook device is no longer needed. You're gonna put your plate back through, pull the child straps from where they're sitting to get that to rest flush. Grab your second screw and grab your screwdriver and tighten. Just tighten until it stops. You don't want to be breaking the plastic here. So you'll know that it looks properly connected when your shoulder straps are here. They connect on this metal plate. This strap is straight and your leg straps are screwed in like so. And then from the front of the seat, it should look like this. Your shoulder straps, your shoulder pad covers, your chest clip, your crotch buckle, and your leg straps. If it looks like that, you're good to go. Check out our website, thecarseatlady.com, for more information.